Michael Delaney, I'm from Ballymahan, County Longford. We're running a beef operation here. Um, I'm farming six years. My father's operation was basically finishing continental cattle uh, to the factory. I'm still running that system, but I'm trying to open up another revenue stream here at the moment. I, uh, I own a, a pizza takeaway business with a couple of friends here in Ballymahan, and we started to supply beef from the farm into that business. So. We're trying to run two, two tracks here at the moment. The big reason as to why I wanted to build the shed was down to labour. Uh, I work off farm with my own lighting company. Uh, so in my dad's time, we had six, five, six sheds all around the farm. You know, a lot of labour, you know, some of them were straw bed sheds, this kind of thing. So I wanted to amalgamate them all into one or two sheds where we can accommodate all the cattle, cut down on labour, make things a lot easier. We knocked one shed where, where the Midland Lighting Warehouse is now. And there was another shed just behind me here. We wanted to make a move on it there for the last number of years, but we finally got going there the winter of 19. Brendan Kwan there in, in Longford was helping me out with the, with the planning. I, uh, I looked at a number of uh, sheds that I liked in the area, one of which was uh, Pat Mollahan's in Arda. The other one was David Burns in Abbey Shrewl. Um, as I said to you, we copied a couple of bits and pieces we liked off David's uh, shed with the way you can... You can hang up the scraper or the forks out of the way. It's it's quite it's quite tidy. We used Newtown Gore for the for the main build. We used uh, Kevin Sullivan for the concrete work from Abilara. Um, White Electrical did the uh, electrical work. The lights were obviously from ourselves. Miladies uh, long for precast supplied the, the slats. I wanted to get the infrastructure right before we start up on our numbers. So we've we've left the shed that we can. It can this shed can accommodate about 220 cattle. So we, we've left it that we can we can have a diet feeder going out and around uh, to make things a little bit easier um, in future. And then we still have capacity with the old shed as well. So I wanted to that'll be we'll be turning our attention to that next now. But um, it just it was just a way for us to to leave things ready for expansion. Basically, we did avail of a Tams grant. Um, so I went into partnership with my mother, and we were able to do the sixty forty. So total total build. Um, Bill was about 230 in 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 total, so um, we were able to, we were able to apply for 80,000, and obviously it's a big help because um, you know with the way beef farming has been for the last number of years, you wouldn't be inclined to be spending a whole pile of money on it. Night and day in comparison to what we're used to around here, so it made things far easier. We're we're delighted with it now, and the aeration system worked out very handy as well now. So yeah. so far so good. You know, I looked at it, looked at a number of systems around, and we were thought, right, well, if if we can get if we can get the right system in here, it could it could be uh, could streamline things. So, you know, it's always my experience that everyone's looking for agitators come the new year, trying to get slurry out. So we try to build in as much capacity here as we could, but we also went with uh, an aeration system from Dairy Power. Um, so it was it's so far it's been been a great job. We found it very handy. The contractor was having his doubts the day he arrived down to do slurry. He was saying, are you sure I shouldn't go for the agitator? He's like, no, no, just come with the tanker now. And thankfully it's, it's worked out very well. It's a compressor for want of a better word. And it's, there's a series of pipes throughout the floor of both tanks. And then it, it concentrates all the air to one area of the tank in, in sequence the whole way around to create a flow. So then um, the, the slurry never really settles and the crust never forms. So then you don't have your dangerous gases building up you always have spreadable slurry, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just much safer for, for man and beast, really, you know. From initial planning through to completion, probably two and a half years, if, if we hadn't been distracted with other things, maybe we could have done it in probably a year and a half. We're not really, we're, we're sort of down in numbers in comparison to my father's time, so the idea, we weren't under huge pressure with the shed, and I kind of wanted to get the infrastructure right before we sort of start scaling back up again. Mm -hmm.